Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Reddit D. Rose report. Just heard you click. I was getting ready to do something. Anyway, uh, WWE's Alicia Fox, she's going to be appearing at the Big E in um, West Springfield, Massachusetts, September 23rd, 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, uh, officials from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey uh, stated that on their Facebook page, the tickets for WWE's WrestleMania 29 uh, is uh, scheduled to go on sale, I guess, Saturday, November uh, 10th. So clear off your maxed out credit card and you're going to need it for those tickets. And several sources have confirmed that, uh, I hate to hear this too, Beth Phoenix is going to be leaving WWE next month. PWI Insider reports that uh, she gave notice to WWE that she's leaving and she's finishing up her date. She's expected to leave probably by the end of October. And sources kind of weren't surprised that Phoenix had been kind of given notice uh, as she's been going through the motions over the last year. Phoenix has been, maybe that's why she's been losing so many matches because she shouldn't have lost that many. Anyway, Phoenix uh, has been spending a lot of time with her boyfriend, who? Edge. At his home in North Carolina, and uh, if she decides to wrestle outside of WWE, she's going to be able to uh, use her Beth Phoenix ring name because she used it before joining WWE. And uh, WWE caught up with Caitlyn last night at um, SmackDown, and she talked about her storyline injury and that she tore tendons and uh, she's going to be out of action for a few weeks. Said she'll be back better than ever in a few weeks and she's looking forward to getting the Diva title match that she missed out on at Night of Champions. Poor thing. Uh, as seen last night on SmackDown, Brodus Clay defeated uh, Heath Slater but then was attacked by Slater, Mahal, and uh, McIntyre. And the trio spoke to Matt Stryker backstage at SmackDown bragging about the beatdown I don't know how you could brag about three on one, but I, they did. And it appears that the three WWE stars have now formed the band. Alright, WWE's caught up with Hall of Famer Edge after making his return to uh, last night's uh, SmackDown. Edge talked about how it's always good to be back in front of the crowd and get another paycheck from WWE, probably. Said uh, Edge also, uh, he said he likes to. Uh, wrestle, but he, uh, you know, he said, right now I wouldn't call myself an actor. I've seen you. I wouldn't call yourself an actor either. Anyway, THQ has confirmed that uh, the new WWE 13 video game will feature some I Quit matches for the first time in eight years, and it also is going to be a debut of King of the Ring tournament. Uh, new uh, uh, WWE news about the NWO has come out and uh, well it's not really for WWE I guess it's all Japan pro wrestling and I guess there's the event of uh, uh, they're gonna have former NWO partners Kevin Nash and the great Muda uh, teaming together over in Japan and another NWO uh, member should be going over to New Japan pro wrestling or rather all Japan pro, pro wrestling in October that's gonna be Scott Norton and WWE website has a new video up with uh, John Cena talking about his elbow and crying over spilt milk. Nah, I ain't gonna read you that. But anyway, as a reminder, David Otunga and WWE diva Eve Torres is gonna be at Comcast Women's Expo Center, Hartford, Connecticut today, from uh, 12 to 3 p.m. In case you're around that way. And it was reported back 2009 Remember old Armando Estrada? I thought he was, you know, fairly good, I guess, but I don't know, he must have rubbed people the wrong way in, uh, in E. But anyway, he wrestled his retirement match against uh, Mr. Anderson at Great Lakes Championship Wrestling Show in Wisconsin. Well, we learned last year Estrada is actually under contract with WWE until uh, from uh, uh, October 10th, rather, December 2010, my fault, until June 2012, as they wanted to use him as a manager. Well, now it looks like Estrada's come out of retirement and is going to be facing Anderson again at GLC show in Cedarsburg, uh, Wisconsin, I guess, uh, on uh, September 29th. Estrada is advertised for future GLCW shows as well. And WWE DVD News reports that uh, WWE is 
upcoming feature on the NWO is going to be around one hour 48 minutes of exclusive, exclusive Blu-ray material. And uh, this is made up of uh, NWO Legends of Wrestling's roundtable discussions and, and other things. Uh, hang on a second. I got to go take a leak. Usually whenever I go to the bathroom and take a leak, I come back and I'm in better shape. Hang on. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam feel much better. Hey, uh, uh, I don't think this was mentioned before, WWE shop site uh, is selling commem commemorative uh, t-shirts for Brock Lesnar versus Triple H match from uh, last year's uh, SummerSlam, well this year's. And WWE uh, Hall of Famer George the Animal Steel threw out the ceremonial first pitch at uh, well last night's Boston Red Sox baseball game in Fenway, uh, Fenway Park. Uh, Steele's also known for biting turnbuckles and trying to bite the, uh, out a piece of the baseball before throwing it. So I guess he was in character. Dean Ambrose worked last night's uh, WWE Raw at uh, State College, Pennsylvania, lost to Michael McGillicuddy. And Big Show returned for the first time at last night's live event, and uh, he defeated Punk via DQ in the main event and saw lumberjacks around the ring. Uh, also noted that the show is scheduled to be out until uh, next week sometime but, you know, before returning to the live events uh, because of John Cena's injury. Came back early. Hey, happy birthday to Hall of Famer Ole, Ole Anderson, 70 years old, two-time AWA Tag Team Champion, Pretty Boy Doug Summer, 61, one-time IWGP Champion, Bob Sapp, 39, and former WWE, w, uh, WCW uh, wrestler, remember Horseshoe? He also went by Luther Reigns, 41. And today would have been the birthday of eight-time NWA Texas Champion, Johnny Valentine would have been 84 years old, and okay, here's a little bit of history to run out the, the rest of the show. First, in 2004, four time WWF champion uh, Ray Trailer died at the age of 41. Only 41. Who's that? Big boss man. Ray Trailer, uh, he was a, legitimately a prison guard in Ca Cobb County, Georgia. Before starting his professional wrestling career in 85, he began as a jobber for WCW and was soon repackaged into Big Bubba Rogers. He was a kind of silent bodyguard for uh, Jim uh, Cornette. Gay engaged in a long feud with Dusty Rhodes uh, throughout most of 86 before winning his first title, uh, the UF, uh, or rather the UWF title. And uh, that was the following year. In 88, he began uh, uh, his first spell with uh, WWF as the Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man, uh, Twin Towers partner, Akeem, uh, feuded with Hulk Hogan throughout 89, uh, where De uh, DBIC, Bobby Heenan, and Nails, remember that sucker? Uh, before leaving for the leaving the promotion in uh, 93. Anyway, a brief stint in Japan followed, and uh, it was WCW where he ended up working again, competing as the Guardian Angel. Trailer feuded with Vader and uh, Rick uh, Rude before uh, reverting back to his uh, big Bubba Rogers character and join, join in the Legion of Doom later. And the NWO trailer uh, was released in WCW in uh, 98 after uh, floating around with no direction for months, rejoining WWF later that year with becoming Vince McMahon's bodyguard with his uh, feud with uh, Steve Austin. And during that time, he won WWF Tag Team titles along with Ken Shamrock and famously hanged by The Undertaker after a Hell in the Cell match, if you remember that. That was kind of edgy. He would also go on to have several mid-card matches and feuds before leaving the company in 2003, uh, having served his last few months as trainer in OVW. And his final match took place uh, for Ted DiBiase's promotion at Arizona against the Tonga Kid before he suddenly died of a heart attack. Uh, secondly, in 2010, not very long ago, 
WWF, WCW wrestler, uh, uh, the giant, Gonzalez, El Gigante, whatever you want to call him. He died at the only the age of 44, Gigante, uh, uh, or the giant, Gonzalez. He began uh, sporting the life of a, of a basketball player for a while, competing in an Argentina national team uh, before getting drafted by the Atlanta Hawks in uh, 88. And uh, Gonzalez failed to adapt to the pace of the American game, so uh, Ted Turner, owner of the Hawks, offered him a job at WCW. John Go uh, Gonzalez uh, made his WCW uh, debut as El Gigante in 90, uh, Capital City Combat. He feuded with Ric Flair, Sid Vicious, before jumping to WWF in 93, had a memorable feud with The Undertaker, leading to one of the worst WrestleMania matches in history. Uh, although, notably, it was the only WrestleMania where Taker has not won uh, the match decisively, as uh, Gonzalez was disqualified. So, iffy thing there. After the conclusion of the feud, Gonzalez uh, was quickly released from WWF and moved to Japan, uh, where he competed for New Japan and War, W-A-R, uh, before retiring in 95. In his retirement, Gonzalez moved back to Argentina, where he was from, and lived with, uh, with his family on the farm. His health was uh, in severe decline in his later years, having suffered uh, kidney failure in 09 and was confined to a wheelchair and uh, eventually died of diabetes. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.